Hey guys and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I'll be showing you this raw installation and this will be a start to finish video. You guys requested for me to show you how I do my whole cap method and everything. So I decided to do that for you of course because I love my subbies and I also wanted to show you how to do this uh, while installing a lace front tool whether it's a sew in or quick weave over someone who has locks. Now, this is a fully detailed tutorial. Like I said, I'm gonna show you everything from start to finish, and this video is a little bit lengthy, but I promise you, you guys are going to love this video. Now, for starters, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and braid back her locks, and I'm just gonna secure uh, the ends with a rubber band. So I'm only gonna do about four under braids because you know, hers are not that long, so I don't have to do them super like small but i will do a tutorial on someone with longer dreads and show you how that goes for that but once you get her all uh under braided back you just want to um and what i like to do as i mentioned before i said i like to clean the hairline with the alcohol before even doing the ball cap method so that's exactly what i'm going to do I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my alcohol, and I usually use 99, but I didn't have time to run to the hair store, so I just stopped by a Walgreens and grabbed me a 91%. And you just wanna thoroughly clean that hairline from left to right. And now I'm gonna use my Bio Silk uh, hair styling spray and just comb back her edges and blow dry all of that back. Now guys, when you're doing this, make sure you try to get every single hair like so no hair is left behind. And that way when you apply uh, the stocking cap, it's just much easier and everything like that. So like I mentioned, I am using that Bio Silk hair styling spray and I'm just spraying that all over the hairline. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my stocking cap. Now for today, she will be doing a frontal bonding quick weave. So this is how I do it as far as what I'm doing a quick weave um, frontal bonding. So um, I just take the first cap and bring it like half of the head because that whole front end is going to be the frontal so she don't have to worry about any bonding glue getting on that section there. And I know you guys, you know, in different states, everybody has their different ways of doing things. But um, you guys told me about some little shield, black stuff, molding stuff, which I've seen before and I know it's popular in other states, but I've never like seen it where I can purchase it and give it a shot. So right now I'm just gonna stick with what I know and where I'm from, we usually do like the double stocking caps or you know, the one cap, the tissue paper underneath. Like everybody has their ways of doing things. There is no right and wrong. It's just pretty much your technique and your preference. So just do whatever works best for you as far as protecting your client's hair or your real hair. And another thing I wanted to mention, I am not glue heavy, so she's not gonna have to worry about any of that glue getting on her locks because I do not soak the whole damn bottle of glue on the track. I just literally squeeze a little bit and just drag it across. And then that's why I also use that pump it up and I spray it across the cap to help it stick even better. Now to get back to this ball cap, I am using uh, my bed head um, to spray down the stocking cap. And if you notice, I did cut the circles around the ears and this will help with just laying down that um, cap as flat as possible and making sure the size is down. Now once after you blow dry that, or you can sit them underneath the dryer. I have a dryer I can sit her underneath, but I just wanted to get straight to the point. So that's why I did not have her sit under it today but you just wanna go ahead and begin to cut off all that extra stocking cap around the front. And once you complete that, um, I will go in with my um, Ruby's Kisses uh, foundation. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I used level nine or 10, but um, here it is. Okay, I did use level 10 and I used um, the lighter shade at first and then I just started like using both shades and just apply that all over the stocking cap and you will do the same method no matter what skin tone a person is just make sure you have their skin tone foundation color and that ruby kisses foundation so um yeah once you do that i'm just i mean once i do that i'm just pretty much going to get into showing you the frontal and everything like that i did bleach the knots customize it and i'm showing you how to tint your lace using a lace tint 
Now this is Lace Tint in the color Tan, and I purchased this Lace Tint from True Match Lace Conceal on Instagram, or you can also hit up one of the stylists from uh, Missy Hair Boutique, and her name is uh, Laced by Lex. So um, that's where I got my lace tint from, and I absolutely love it. And like I said, once again, I am using the tan shade in her color. So once you finish tinting and everything like that, you just wanna have your client hold that frontal down. You wanna lay it down in place one side by side and have them hold it firmly as you go ahead and sew down the back of the lace frontal. And if they did hold it correctly, then that means it should be fine. Sometimes I do have situations where clients let the frontal go and then after I'm done sewing, I realize like the frontal is way behind the hairline or it's too far down. And then I have to take it off and re-sew it. So just like express to your client, you really need them to keep that firm and still. And this is pretty much what the frontal looks like before I even apply it. You can already tell it's going to give me very much scalp tease. And here, just me parting her hair right there is definitely scalp. Like, it's just no denying it. Like, if I get any negative comments on this video, like, you just clearly gotta just be hating because this video is too raw. I'm just saying. But moving right along, we are using four bundles of Deep Wave hair today. And the inches are 228 and 226. And it's a 20 inch lace frontal. And this is the Deep Wave pattern. Um, she got this hair actually from a, a hair supply store down here in Miami, but I do have this same pattern from my brand and guys, I'm still working on my website. I try to find time in between doing hair and doing YouTube and everything like that and plus being a mom. So just give me some time. I will get my website updated. Um, but next week I will have hair in stock ready to ship. So I will be posting what I have. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Now, um, as far as bonding and the tracks, I started like really, really right under like the cap because she expressed to me how she really wanted to get all four of her bundles in. Now, I usually use three for her head. Her head is pretty small and you already know that frontals take up like a lot of space. But because we are getting ready to go on a nice little trip, all of us friends together, um, I just really wanted to make her happy. And I actually got all four of those bundles in her head. Now what I do and what you should do if you want to get more hair, you should double your tracks. When I do my bondings, I double the tracks. So pretty much you'll see me putting glue on the first track and then the second track right on top. And then I go ahead and place it down onto that stocking cap. Now when you do this like this, you actually get to put more bundles in versus me just opening up the weft completely and just going single by single. So if you want to get more bundles in, even with the sewing, it's best that you double your tracks. But if you feel like you don't have enough hair or you don't want it to be too, too full, then you can just go ahead and single your tracks. And like I always say, you know, it's pretty much your preference, whatever works best for you and whatever works best for your stylist. So I'm just going to continue here and just bond the tracks all the way up. And I did put some more of that Pump It Up spritz um, on there. You do not have to use spritz if you don't want to. You can use a holding spray or a lighter spritz. It's up to you. But I just really prefer to know that my client uh, tracks is going to stick. Not saying it won't stick if you use those alternatives. It will, but you know, that Pump It Up is just like that extra strength hold. But um, I'm just going to continue to bond all the way up to the top. And then we're going to get into actually laying down this frontal.
So now that I have done bonding uh, all the tracks up to the lace frontal, I'm going to go ahead and begin to lay down her frontal. Now this hair is really, really full and it's really long. Um, and this is pretty much how it looks dry, but we are going to wet this hair before uh, this video is finished. Now, um, like I said, we already cleaned the hairline way before doing the ball cap method. So you do not have to re-clean that hairline at all. It is already clean. Now, I just want to give you guys a little bit more insight on far as using the bold hold. Whether you are using the extreme cream or the active is the same rule applies even with that ghost bond or any glue that is white that dries clear. These are the same instructions. You want to make sure that when you apply that glue, you really spread that glue out as smooth and as flat and like neat as possible because you want it to be able to dry uh, clear rapidly and not have like little white clumps and lumps in it. So you want to make sure like even if you have to wipe some of that excess glue on the back of your hand or on a napkin or something, you want to make sure you just spread it out as neatly as possible. And as you can see from this clip here, by the time I finish applying and spreading out one half, it dried completely clear and now I'm adding my second layer. Now for most glues, they say use between five, three to five and some say even up to seven layers. It's just really a preference. But I used to do only three layers, but now I bumped it up a notch and I'm doing four layers. But don't worry, she will not lose her edges or anything like that. Like it's just all on what you do and how you do it. But um, I just really wanted to tell you guys about that and show you this here. And I'm showing you two layers, but I actually did four layers. But this is the, I'm going to give you the thumbs up when it's ready for you to apply it. And right here, I'm just giving you the thumbs up now because it was pretty much, well, it was clear. And that means it is safe and ready for you to go ahead and lay down your lace. So with me, as far as pulling the lace down, I really like to work from side to side. So I start by pulling a little bit of that middle down and then I do one side. And once I get that front to where I want it to be, I have that client automatically go ahead and hold that side down because this next step is very important um, as to getting that lace to melt down in that glue really good. What I like to do is just take like a comb and I just kind of like gently comb that uh, hair down into that lace glue. And I also use my blow dryer on the warm to hot setting. And that just helps it melt even better and even faster like I know we all want to take our time get these laces laid get your own lace laid a client's lace laid but in reality you don't want to take too too long on anyone's install so I try to find um, the very effective best quick methods to laying down a lace and these are my techniques like I said and if you feel like my technique works for you, then I'm happy I can help. But if you did just pick up a few things from me, I'm still happy I was able to help you guys out. So, yeah, just, just give this out. You know, give this a try. Let me know if my techniques work for you. And once I finish, like, combing in that lace, I just take my fingers and gently, you know, just, like, massage the lace in. But do not do it too, too rough or too hard because you don't want to, like, mash it mashing is very very like it's like a big no-no when it comes to doing a lace install you never want to mash that lace thing you want to be gentle even though sometimes on camera it may seem like we're being rough but we're actually being gentle in reality because if we were you would see that glue mashing up turning black and everything like that so just take your time these videos are sped up but we are being gentle trust me but once I finished blow drying and doing all of that there, I just began to cut off my extra lace. Now you can cut off your lace using scissors or an eyebrow razor. It's up to you. I even have the little uh, crafty scissors. I just do whatever I feel like doing at that moment and I just go with the flow. And that's why it's always good to be versatile with things so you already know how to work with different things if you run out of a product or if you're missing something like you can always improvise on what to do now once I cut that lace off in its exact motion going back to what I said previously before I like to work with one side at a time so the side that I cut the lace off first I just make sure that all the hair 
is uh, tacked down and glued and none of that lace is lifting. And I just go back in with that bold hold once again and just slide that glue underneath those places that are still lifting using my teeth to put that lace into that glue using my blow dryer still on that warm setting and just getting everything laid and melted. So what you do to one side, you know you already wanna do it to the other side. And just to go back a little bit, um, another thing that I wanted to stress to you guys about the placement, and it just hit my mind of that glue, is you wanna make sure that you lay the glue in the same, like follow the same pattern as your client's natural hairline. And if they do have a forehead that's a little further back and then the size is low, you just wanna make sure that you go back far enough um, in those areas to pluck more so if a lot of lace has to be cut off it can still look natural because sometimes we pluck and then everything that we pluck end up having to be cut off and then you back with a thick hairline now you're plucking on the person's scalp so just like look at their hairline see like if you need to pluck some more in certain places that way you can do it beforehand and it's less stress for you now I'm just going to continue to cut off that extra lace going in that zigzag motion once again and as you can see honey we are getting very much scalp very much laid very much melted and it's just a really simple process if you just follow the steps and over time like i always mention you will get better and better and better as you go along so don't beat yourself up if you don't get it right the first time just try again try different methods there's other YouTubers that have, um, that have great methods as well. So, you know, shout out to Erica J. Shout out to Slay by Jordan. I love Larasia Andrea. Like, those right there are my favorite YouTube, my favorite three. If you have some other YouTubers you think I should check out, just, you know, let me know and I'll subscribe to their channels, see what they're all about. But those are definitely my top three faves. So, shout out to y'all. Keep doing y'all thing. Keep grinding. Keep shining. And yeah, pretty much that's, you know, that's the tea on that. But moving right along, um, now I'm just sectioning off a thin layer and I just like to plait it out the way. Um, the hairs that I will use for the baby hairs and I just go ahead and section that out the way. So I already know like once I use uh, my bed head spray and spray it on top of that lace and tie it down with my melt belt like they will already be done sectioned off and I'll have to try to go back and pull the hair down and everything like that and I'm just taking a, a wax stick and just applying it everywhere that I'm going to hot comb now I've mentioned this before in a previous video I don't care if the hair is straight curly wavy loose deep it does not matter kinky I always hot comb the roots out and it makes a major difference in the outcome. I know we're not all professionals and maybe you don't know how to use the, uh, use the Marcel stove iron, but that's fine. They actually have plug-in hot combs. Um, I've never used one before, but I've, I've known a few stylists that use the plug-in hot combs and they work just as great. They get just as hot and it's actually safer to use because you already know the temperature that the hot comb is going to be on versus you putting that hot comb in a stove and then you leave it on too long and the next thing you know, you put it on your client's hair and it burns it completely off. So, you know, just be very, very mindful when using these hot combs and make sure you are paying attention. You also don't want to burn your uh, customers or yourself. Like you don't want to burn your skin and scab up. So just be very careful. I know we want to get close to those roots, but just go really slow and take your time, especially around somebody's face. So just press those roots out no matter what, no matter what pattern it is, as I mentioned before, and you will have better results at the end. So, here we go with the bed head. I've been raving and raving and raving about this product. And this is my last bottle, y'all. I'm about to go restock, okay? Because I, like, this is a little technique I taught myself. I was trying something out one day, and it was just like everything. So now I spray that bed head across my hairline, and I tie it down with my beautiful Hustler Melt Belt. And baby, as you can see, when you remove that honey, this girl got a whole new scalp, baby. It's just like a lace what? Lace who? Lace where? Like, this is the bomb.com. I'm telling y'all, like, it's just 
all about technique and the products that you use and you will get great results. I am currently sold out of uh, out of my melt belts. I just got my last order for the last two and I will be restocking uh, next week once I come back from vacation. So just bear with me guys. Uh, a customer last night ordered my last two and I am currently sold out, but I will have more. Um, I am also fixing on the little bugs and stuff on my website. So if you have tried to book with me and try to order and it's glitching and doing weird things, I'm working on it. Just give me some time. Please be patient with me. If you do want to order something from me, just, you know, send me a text or anything like that. And I can tell you exactly what to do or what you need. Give you your PayPal information, invoice, so you can get your tracking, everything like that. Like, I'm not a scam. It's completely safe. Trust me, I don't like nobody playing with my money, and I'm not going to play with nobody's money. And we all have kids. We all have other mouths to feed, so I know how that goes. But back to the tutorial, now that I went ahead and, you know, just melted everything on in using, um that bio silk spraying everything down using that bed head melting the lace the elastic band and everything like that i just went ahead and combed those baby hairs out well this area for the baby hairs and i'm just taking my scissors once again and i just cut those hairs down to about an inch or less and i um, am going to be using my got to be gel as far as doing the baby hairs now some people feel like they rather use mousse for baby hair some people have other products to use for baby hairs and don't get me wrong i'm very versatile i can do baby hairs with the mousse or with the got to be gel but i personally just love the got to be gel as far as doing baby hairs like i love the mousse too don't get me wrong because it can give you that really soft look once you sit under dryer and you comb them out or you can leave it hard it's up to you but for my clients I know that they are not the best at keeping up with hair, so I just try to give them what I know is going to last. Like some stylists might not tell you because they just want you to keep coming back and getting more and more of your money, but honestly, I don't want to see my clients every other day talking about some baby hairs need to be fixed and this and that. So what I do is I just go with the best product that works and hold down those edges. But I just ordered me um, some She Is Bomb uh, slick and slay like hair gel and when I when I did uh, she is bombs hair Dee Dee's hair like I used her slick and slay and when I tell you it is the bomb.com so y'all stay tuned for that because I will be using that um, it just shipped today in my newer tutorial so like I said stay tuned that stuff is the bomb and I'll tell y'all where to order it from but for right now I'm just going to continue of, uh, to use my got to be gel and just shape her baby hairs and um, I also mentioned before in a couple of my videos like blow dry the baby hairs as you go along that way you don't have any like lace lifting issues and that's another thing with the mousse the mousse sometimes tend to lift um, and people you know have a hard time with that so if you're not too good with the whole mousse method then just go ahead and grab some got to be and you should be fine but what also plays a major role in that is how much lace glue that you are using underneath your lace installment like you have to make sure you are using a wide enough amount and enough layers to help that lace not lift because now honestly since I added four layers and I think about the size of my um, glue application I have had no lifting issues as far as doing any baby hair so that works too so y'all try that out and I did wet her hair with water and conditioner. I know y'all see it go from puffy to like wet looking. And I just use a regular Tresemme conditioner. But if you want your hair to still look wet, even though it's dry, I highly recommend that silicone mix. And then after I did her baby hairs, I just went ahead and concealed her part. And this is pretty much the finishing look. I hope you guys love this tutorial and learned something today. And if you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. My voice is back. I am back. And I will have more tutorials for y'all. So stay tuned.